Still on the fence about what the best foam storage solution is for you? Spiky bits. Welcome back, hobby maniacs. Today, we're gonna take a look at the Feldher foam storage system and see if it's a good fit for your army and or figurine needs. So Feldher has three run of the mill, middle of the road ways to help you store your minis. They have these maxi cases right here that store about as much as uh, the foam figure boxes. Uh, a little bit more support here, of course, because it's a box as opposed to a soft side uh, bag right here. And then of course you've got the magnetic bags or cases rather that are really neat because they store uh, a decent amount enough for like a kill team or a smaller game of like blood bowl or something like that and we're going to look at all three of these independently but don't think that's where it stops there's a lot more solutions out there that you can get directly uh, from amazon or from feldher.net uh, if you live over in Europe, it's a lot easier to get the, their newest stuff over there until it comes over to us and we can get it off of Amazon here in the States. I personally like Feldher because it has so many different ways of configurations and things you can do. Here is kind of a, a quick look at everything they offer. So they've got the medium bags, the maxi bags, which is this one right here. And we've showed you, I think, two videos of these right here, our Legion and also our Shade Spire. So that is what the maxi bag is. And then it goes up to, excuse me, it goes messenger bag, which is smaller, it's about half the size. Then you go hard case and you have the transporter. And this is where it's a little bit sturdier of a solution. And then you start having the, you know, you can have the cardboard boxes and things like that. I like them. I've heard a lot about them in the past. Finally got to review this stuff. They asked me if I wanted to help promote them. I said, sure, absolutely. Send your stuff over. We'll take a look at it. And I think it's a great, easy to find and acquire solution, no matter if you're in Europe or if you're in here in the States. Amazon's just a few clicks away. Of course, in Europe, you know, it's easy to get stuff right out of Germany as well. Now, this is uh, an insert out of one of their boxes. Uh, kind of foam solutions and what's cool about it is that you can actually print this out if you want or you can map out whatever you need to pluck out onto a piece of foam that's going to be at the bottom of this that I'm about to show you so it's an easy to use guide that comes in <laughs> the foam storage box as well and they show you here like kind of how it works how to punch it out and then the usage for all the different things like you don't it's not just about miniatures like you can put drones you can put tools you know, uh, anything you really want to in here. And then they explain the exact process of how to do it and then how to uh, stick the bottoms and the tops together because they send it to you where you have to actually apply the adhesive after you're done with it. Boom, there it is. And then all the different sizes and everything. So let's jump into the system itself and kind of show you a bit more on this. And then we'll jump over and show you how easy it is to actually get this stuff in your door and your hot little hands to help protecting your miniatures. The base level version of all of this is the magnetic clasp case. It's pretty easy to use. It's nice and sturdy. You can obviously store it in another size bag with your books and such. It flips open. It's got some sturdy uh, magnets right there so you don't have to worry about them coming out. And it's going to hold. There's two different configurations of it, but honestly, you can put whatever trays you want in there. Uh, these particular ones hold 32 miniatures, and then there's the ones that hold 40 miniatures but have a little bit smaller. and a little bit smaller of a baseline. So you can almost fit 32s in there, but they're gonna hang out a little bit as far as you know depth and everything like that. But for your standard 25s, you can get them in there pretty good, but if they have larger profiles and things, it's gonna be a little bit more difficult uh, to store them. So you're gonna wanna look at probably something a little bit different depending on the size of your miniatures, uh, whether you're playing kill team or what have you. Now these foam trays will of course fit in the maxi bag, which I have a, a loose one right here. Now they have specialized ones. You can pretty much look up any uh, for any one that you want right here, but they're a loose kind of soft side bag. We showed you this before. It's got a zipper pouch on the front. And I like this little bowling ball configuration type deal on the bottoms right here. So it actually gives you a lot of support. So these trays that come in here are gonna be transportable side by side into this right here, depending on you know what you order and you can get them separate and all, all sorts of different things. But depending on what you wanna do, this may be a good solution if you get a specific one, like say for Shadespire, a Legion, 
or if there's 180 mil, uh, 180 miniature ones, 200 miniature ones, what have you. There's a whole bunch of different configurations out there, but all of them will fit into uh, the maxi bag. And then of course the same foam fits right into the magnet box as well. And then of course, like I said, all of the foam that comes in any of the larger foam storage boxes that are the same size as the maxi are gonna be able to transplant fit into here. Uh, conversely, something that they don't offer, although they do show you on here that they have bigger storage, but say you have some boxes at home, like moving boxes or open foot locker type boxes like I do, I've showed you in the past, the U-line boxes, the big brown ones, these will fit two long ways in those boxes so you can actually buy the foam or buy the set, put them in those boxes, and then when you're going down to the game store, transport them into a case like the Maxi if you want, or something different, depending on what you want to do. Now, I like this one because it's cost effective. These only go for about $40. They're not specialized like the Maxi bags that are going to go for $70. And you can get lots of figures in here. They have configurations for like 180, uh, 200 different figures. This particular one right here is uh, gonna come with a tank tray, a pull and pluck tank tray, so you can fit larger tanks in here. And it's whatever configuration you want. Now you're probably wondering what this thing is right here. And it's actually a transformer. This turns into your handle, uh, which you're gonna put down the side right here. And then, so you can have a little handle side, but we're not gonna worry about that in this tutorial or this unboxing and review. So here's your standard uh, 36 tray, I guess they I guess they call it. This is a 36er. Of course, canceling out all the light. We'll blot out the light with our storage solution. Uh, <laughs> this guy right here is a 36 tray. Uh, it's very similar in size to what you just saw in uh, the magnet box. So it's not quite gonna fit your 32 mils. So there's a lot of different sizes. You just kind of have to look on the site and figure out what's going to be good for you. But that one will hold an orc. And we all know that there's a lot of orcs out there these days. So this wouldn't be a bad storage solution for some of those. And then I'm going to flip these over. This is a 72 box that also comes with that pull and pluck component right here. And as long as you don't glue a lot of your turrets and stuff on, this is going to give you some wonderful options for things like chimeras, boom, and like I said, if you don't glue your turrets down, then you can actually fit these in here just fine. And that profile is actually gonna fit the Bane Blade too, which you just saw. Maybe not the Shadow Sword, because the Shadow Sword's got the top, unless you do the uh, Octo Bane Blade assembly, but boom. Uh, that would fit in there if it was just a Bane Blade, but if you're gonna have to uh, not assemble the turret on here if you're doing a shadow sword otherwise it would fit so there's a little bit of thinking involved when it comes to um, you know putting your models together oh and also this is a, a sticky tear strip so you can peel this off and then stick it to the foam bottom right here and what that's going to do is that's going to allow you a little bit of flexibility punching out this foam so you don't mess anything up because uh, you know sometimes when you punch out the pull and pluck foam it can get a little monotonous and then all of a sudden you're tearing off the side strips and you're like, ah, oh, crap, I really messed that up. Not, uh, not, not saying from personal experience. I'm just saying it could happen. <laughs> it could definitely happen. So that is the three main universal uh, kind of options right there from Feldher. And let's jump over to their website and show you just how easy it is to order their stuff no matter where you are in the world. So no matter where you are in the world, it's very easy to get these bags into your hands, like I was saying. Europe wants, you wanna check out feldher.net. That's gonna show you all of their bags and they get all the new stuff here, obviously, because they're based over there. Here in the States, we gotta wait a little bit longer for the new releases. I'm sure you can buy it over there and have it shipped if you really want to, but chances are, uh, if you just wanna use your Amazon Prime, that's the way to go. And it's very easy to find whatever you're looking for. Uh, you just type in Feldher. And then you could go specific stuff like X-Wing or something like that. But for this case, we're just gonna go uh, storage box. And that's gonna show us a bunch of different options. Now, they've, like I talked about, they have the 180 miniature, but you can always click on this and see the different configurations, which I think is pretty neat. So for 40 bucks, shipped to your door, literally shipped. Can't be easier to get this stuff, I'm telling you. <laughs> it's so cool. Uh, you got the 72 with cubed foam, which I actually showed you this one just a second ago. That's the one where you can put 
the uh, land rate, or excuse me, the tanks and stuff in right here, stuff like the Bane Blades and the Chimeras and the Lehman Russes and all the stuff without the turrets on it. Uh, you can do that. Or you can get the 180 miniature cases. Uh, then they've got all sorts of different sizes, 100 miniatures with tanks and monsters. Uh, they're gonna show you, it's gonna have pull and pluck foam at the bottom right here, but they have the larger trays, which are two, four, so five, so there's 50 in this. So it's a little bit smaller, wouldn't quite work for normal Primaris Marines, but the, or Primaris Marines, but the normal Marines would work great. And then you've got the large base miniatures. This is more of your primary stuff that we were showing you. Remember how they expanded out of the foam? This is gonna be your wheelhouse right there that you're gonna want uh, for them to fit in. And there you can see the larger 32 mil. Uh, looks like they got some Death Watch in there as well as uh, some of the new Corn Bloodbound in there. So that is what you're gonna want for those miniatures. Plus the more dynamic ones are gonna fit in there too. So lots of different options. And then of course you can kind of just drill down and start looking at things. and. Uh, once you go back and you do some general searches, you can mouse over it and it'll get you into the different ones. And they'll show you some other options, you know, from some other manufacturers. But at that point, you know, I think you can make an informed decision regardless of what you need. But uh, I think ship to your door, a uh, felder seems to be a good way to get a solid miniature storage solution. Uh, for pretty much any army that you want out there. And then remember too, if they don't have it on Amazon, you can always come over here and you can get stuff like New Adeptus Titanicus, which isn't on Amazon yet, but it is available. So they always have new stuff over on their main site, but here in the States, a lot easier to scoop it up off of Amazon. So that's it for this one. I hope you all enjoyed our look at the Feldher, Feldher storage options we've kind of covered two specialized ones one generic one i hope to get some adeptus titanicus foam in here uh because i need to <laughs> it's very hard to actually store these things believe it or not uh they're small but large in statue <laughs> and so i need to get those stored and i need some more trays for my legion so i'm going to hit them up about doing some more promos because i think it's a great fit for the channel here and it's just so easy to get in the door it's very hard to find foam at local stores that's reliable and in a configuration you need. So I think this is a home run all the way around, of course. And it's just easy, 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 easy. Can't say it enough, it's easy. I like easy. We're all stressed for time. Easy is good when it comes to hobbying right there. So that's it for this one. Hey, make sure you subscribe to the channel. It's very easy to do. Just hit that subscribe button. <laughs> then you can always be the first to like and comment on all our videos and follow along with all our hobby solutions and unboxings that we come up with week to week as well as our live tutorials over on Twitch.